Hey Jeff, it's Ed Winslow. Uh, okay, so I just uh, I'm going to go through four things real quick with you uh, in regards to uh, how to improve your optimization. And uh, there's a couple things that that that's a, that are really important to know. So I'm going to go over how to optimize your YouTube videos. That's your starting point. I can clearly see that that is where all the content is coming from. Uh, you're the expert. You're the pro. Nobody's going to know the topic like you and you we can get you writers if you don't already have writers in in house we can always get writers who can uh, go watch one of your videos and turn that into a good YouTube description they can turn it into a blog post and then that same blog can be posted on your Facebook page with a link back to your video on YouTube and also, I want to talk to you uh, about Google+. Plus. Google+, Plus is something that you definitely need to get in on now. It's a key part of optimization. Now, just a couple quick things. Uh, content has always been one of the most important parts of web pages or any kind of content, whether it's a video or it's a blog or a web page, doesn't matter. And then link building from external sources has always been a very valuable part of SEO. But how you create those links has always been really key so you wanted to, uh, when for example article marketing uh, whether you're using a, a site like eZine articles or using even a press release like PR web those tools are have been very very effective if you're utilizing the inbound links the right way to create text links to individual pages that's what boosts your your page but all that is starting to change. Social media is now becoming integrated with search engine optimization. So what Google has done is they've always looked at, let's say, an eZine article or a PR web press release to validate a page. So if you've got a press release and it's linking to a specific page, you probably are getting a lot of news sources out there that are taking that press release and they're putting it on their site with a link to your particular page and to your home page. So that's always been very, very good. But now, what, uh, now what's happening is that Google is now looking at social media as the place to validate pages. So if you've got a really good web page and you've posted it on, you've posted the blog post on your Facebook page and even more importantly Google Plus though you're gonna see some big changes with optimization coming up very very soon with uh, with how Google is going to utilize the uh, the social interaction on various posts on on uh, Facebook to validate pages so keep that in mind that social media is going to drive your SEO SEO creates the message on social media so the two work hand in hand and what it is is it's a total white hat strategy for getting ranked uh, so the more people that are interacting on social media saying your page quality your page content is quality if somebody shares a video or shares a link to a blog that's going to give you a lot of boost so keep that in mind okay and that's what I'm going to be talking about because this this whole optimization thing is uh, evolving quickly alright so we're up to four minutes in this video I'm going to try and fly through this as fast as I can so it's very very simple but as I mentioned <clears throat> content very very key uh, let me just I, I'm you can you can look at this page yourself uh, I just want to mention a couple quick tips use important keywords near the beginning of your title when you create your YouTube video your blog posts anything uh, use your keywords in your video use them whatever the target keyword phrase is so if for example uh, I looked at one of your videos and it was um, what was it it was tennis how to serve elbow the enemy tennis serve drill okay the way that I would change that is that tennis how to serve tips and then elbow the enemy drill okay Google's gonna see the relevance between tips and drills um, 
it just this is a much more natural term I think uh, and uh, y you know there's a big difference between tennis how to serve and tennis how to serve tips you know tips is really specific and that's what it, and you're the pro so tips are what you're promoting so um, anyway uh, let me go back so use your important keywords near the beginning of the title use keywords in your video so when for example when you're introducing yourself and I see you doing a great job at this hi it's Jeff from Jeff Sauls and Scene Tennis today we're going to show a how to we're going to show in our how to serve tip series elbow the enemy this drill you see what I'm saying you're utilizing however you phrase it you're using your core keyword phrase tennis how to serve tips or tip and you're using the word drill in the video okay uh, so that is the formula so let, let's let me just go down here let me let's just go over uh, sort of an analysis of this particular video so tennis how to serve tips I would add tips right here I would get rid of tennis serve because you've already got tennis and serve in the title no re no reason to stuff it you don't want to be stuffing that keyword phrase in there. Now, hard for me to be critical. You've got 68,000 views, but I think you can even probably do better with your optimization by, by following this. So right here, tennis serve. You've got already tennis serve over here. No reason to duplicate. Uh, the word drill, elbow the enemy drill. I mean, we already know it's a tennis serve. Just elbow the enemy drill, much cleaner, uh, better term to optimize tennis how to serve tips elbow the enemy drill boom simple now follow that formula going down into the body of the content now what I like here is that you've done a great job here free tennis serve tips okay you've used that in the beginning and you've also used it at the end very very good just make sure that you're not overusing the word tennis or tips too much in the body of the content. This particular uh, description is excellent. No need to fo uh, to change it. Just follow this strategy. Now, what I would also do that uh, one thing that I do notice that you know your tennis coach TV channel is really awesome. I would highly recommend that you tell people to go up and subscribe. I would also mention that in your videos. I would always try and get people to click on the description and uh, or or uh, I'm sorry not the description but the subscribe button get those people to sus subscribe to your uh, YouTube channel okay now the other thing that you can do that I think uh, you know is a very effective uh, SEO tool is to create links from one blog post to the other when you're utilizing video it would, might be very valuable for you to be able to just create hey if you like this video click this one here and link and and drive them over to another video because that way you're giving them more opportunity to f move them down into your funnel you don't want them to click off here you want to keep them engaged as much as you can so if you can keep linking your your videos together you're going to you're going to keep them on your page much longer Google's going to see the relevance from one to another. Great user experience. That's going to hugely impact your SEO. Creating links from one YouTube to another. Okay. Um, just to really, you know, I, I've gone through this in the course, and uh, this is really the formula. This is the base formula. Follow this over and over. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's a YouTube description, uh, it's the actual video. Uh, it's uh, a blog post, a web page, even a social media post. You can create variations of this formula. But always start with your keyword title. And try and move those important words in your title more toward the beginning. Okay, that always has an impact. When you're creating blogs or, or web pages, headings, you want your heading one, two, three. Uh, content always 300 words is great. Keyword density two to two and three quarter percent. I even recommend, I, even if you can keep it at two and a half percent, much much better. Uh, use your target keyword phrase in the first sentence. 
as close to the beginning of the sentence as possible, somewhere in the middle, some, you know, somewhere at the end. Uh, if you're writing a blog post, uh, you can always uh, you can uh, highlight your t keyword phrase, make it bold. You can make one phrase underlined, one italicized. External links. Look at Wikipedia. Wikipedia is phenomenal at this. They they always have external links to other sources in the body of their content. So as they're explaining something, it's it. I find myself always if I'm reading something on Wikipedia, I can click on I can click one of their links and I can learn something uh, about somebody else. You know, let's say you're talking about uh, a way to serve. And uh, you want to, you know, reference Federer, you know, or something Federer does. You can always create a link over to Federer. Internal links, as I mentioned, those are really, really key. You want to link everything together. Link all your blogs together. You want uh, links from your videos to your blogs. You want your blogs posted on your social media. You want to link everything together. It just this is much much natural. This is the way the internet is. This is the way SEO is moving. It's really sort of cool because what it's what's happening is that social media and SEO are becoming one and the same. Just it's making it a lot easier for us. If you focus on good content and creating good links, you're going to win. You're going to outperform your competition. Uh, when now, uh, if you if you need to uh, if you want to um, optimize something that relates to maybe something at the US Open or Wimbledon you can always add those geographic areas in your descriptions that really helps uh, you know there's not enough time to really go into that right here I do go over that quite a bit in the course if that's another strategy that uh, if that's if geographic optimization is a key part anyway just to make it real condensed you know this tool I think you bought this tool easy WP SEO shoot I'm up to 12 minutes I'm trying to get through this I might have to make a couple videos for you uh, anyway um, if you're writing a blog this this is really for a blog and as I mentioned your YouTube you know I find that even a hundred and fifty word description on a YouTube video is phenomenal because most people aren't out there doing a good job of optimizing uh, videos though I, I know that you are in a very competitive market for video. Um, in a blog post, 300 words is a great number. Keyword density 2 to 275, as I mentioned, 2 to 2.5 is better. Keyword in the first sentence, keyword in your photo. Key, make one of your keyword phrases bold, one italicized, one underlined. Create that external link and create an internal link and uh, may make sure that you've got your keyword in the last 50 words as well. So this is a sort of a quick summary. Uh, I'm I do have here. I'm gonna. This is what I'm gonna show you. Yeah, I'm gonna create another video because this is getting a little bit long. And um, you know we're up to about 13 minutes, so I really want to wrap this up in the next 30 seconds, because I don't want this to take too long. Because this is really pretty simple stuff. Um, but I'm going to talk to you about Google Plus, and this is a Google Plus community. I highly encourage you to create a Google Plus community for what you're doing. Google Plus is going to take off in a huge way, um, and you know if you can get in on that in the very beginning here, you're going to you're going to get huge results out of this. And it's it's going to help your SEO as well. And I just want to, I'm going to go over your Facebook page as well. So that's pretty much it for right now. And um, I will um, I'll see you on the next video. This one's about 14 minutes. Uh, I'll see you on the next one.